All right, how's it going? It's been a while, hasn't it? I haven't done a video for ages, so I thought I'd wait until the next one maybe was doing his lawn um, to do this one. But yeah, it's been, um, I think, over eight months since I did a video, uh, which is quite a long time. I could have probably got pregnant and had a baby in that time. Well, if um, the baby was born a bit prematurely and if men could get pregnant. I just felt it kick. Did you see that? Ooh, right there. Yeah. Anyway, I haven't been having a baby, obviously. Um, so where have I been? What's been going on? Why haven't I uploaded a video for so long? Those are the questions I expect on pretty much nobody's lips. Um, and the answer, uh, this is where things get a bit more serious, I guess. We're getting deep. Basically, I was having a bit of a crap time and I didn't want to make videos where I had to kind of be all fake and pretend everything was fantastic when it wasn't. Um, but I also didn't want to make videos where I was just like, you know, down and kind of moaning about everything. I just thought nobody wants to watch a load of sort of misery. Um, and it would seem like I was sort of looking for sympathy or whatever um, when I wasn't. So I'm making this video now partly because I'm feeling a little bit better about things, but more than anything, because I've realized that Actually, it's fine to talk about it when you're feeling down um, and actually you should because it might help you um, and equally it might help somebody else as well. cheery statistics like it's all pretty heavy stuff but I just feel like it really kind of brings it home what a massive issue this is um, and one other thing that really shocked me is how much more susceptible men are to suicide than women um, so men are three to four times as likely um, to commit suicide as women um, and so suicide is actually the leading cause of death in men under the age of 35 so why does depression which obviously affects men and women lead to suicide um, in men far more often than it does in women. It's because we don't talk about it. We're embarrassed. We don't want to talk to people about that mental health stuff. Um, I didn't speak to anyone. I've been trying to make this video for about two months and just keep kind of putting it off. I've been worried what people will think, um, you know, that they're going to think I'm weak or even if they're supportive, that they might kind of be weird around me in the future. But that stuff isn't as important as the difference that talking about this kind of stuff can actually make. Like I expect 99% of the people that watch my videos are men. And if there's even a 0.001% chance that me talking about this stuff and admitting that, you know, I've had some struggles with it, um, if there's a tiny chance that that makes somebody else feel like they can talk about it, then that is worth any of the kind of shame and embarrassment that I'm feeling making this video. Like if you could do something that just might, even if it was a tiny chance, just might help save someone's life. Even if it was a tiny, tiny chance and you might even never know about it, you'd still do it, wouldn't you? Well, you can, just by talking about this kind of stuff and being open and listening to other people, that can make a difference. And really, like, there's no need to be embarrassed. Like, you wouldn't feel embarrassed if you had cancer. Feeling depressed isn't a sign of weakness. It's not something you've brought upon yourself. It's not a sign that you're failing at life. And it's not some weird thing that only affects you. I know it can feel like that, but it's actually so, so common. Lots of really successful, wealthy, famous, um, healthy people have suffered depression. And please don't ever feel like you're not justified in feeling depressed, like your problems aren't big enough um, to warrant feeling down. That's how I felt for ages, that all my problems are kind of what I'd call first world problems. So like, you know, relationship stuff, um, kind of, yeah, money pressures, like work things, just sort of 
not knowing what I'm doing in my life and feeling like I'm wasting my life. Um, they're things that I sort of feel like people have way bigger problems than that. So how can I possibly justify feeling depressed about it? I almost felt guilty for feeling down when there's people who had, yeah, way bigger problems um, who were dealing with them, I felt better. That isn't how depression works. Like you can't sort of turn on the news and say, oh look, you know, there's a horrible war over there. So like, lucky me, I feel much better now. And fixing what you think are the problems that are causing your depression um, isn't necessarily the answer. Like, you know, if you're depressed because you've got no money, getting rich isn't necessarily gonna make you any less depressed. Like I said, there's plenty of people who've got loads of money who are still depressed. Depression, in my opinion, isn't always like a simple cause and effect thing. Like it doesn't just affect people who've got loads of obvious problems. Like I said, you know, people with like no money or no prospects or really difficult lives or health problems or whatever. That's why so often when you hear about someone that has committed suicide, um, the people that knew them really well are actually completely shocked because, you know, it seemed like everything was great in their life and they actually on the outside seemed really happy. Depression isn't always logical, like you don't need to be able to justify it to yourself or anybody else. You might feel like I did, kind of guilty for feeling depressed when loads of people are going through much more challenging stuff. It really isn't a competition of who's got the hardest life and only the people who've got the toughest things going on are allowed to ever feel down. Like for me, the stuff, kind of the external stuff in my life is probably worse now than it was when I sort of started to feel really down about it. Um, which is why I say that kind of, it isn't necessarily just about fixing these things and then suddenly you're gonna feel great. I'm not saying that, you know, trying to improve the external circumstances in your life isn't worth doing, like of course it is, but um, in my opinion, you need to be tackling the kind of depression itself rather than just the cause because you know, in life there's always gonna be ups and downs and if you are only ever gonna feel okay in yourself when everything's rosy, then you're always gonna have these struggles. But yeah, the real point I'm making in this video is um, that I regret not talking about kind of my issues to people that I know, um, but also, yeah, like publicly. Um, I regret not making this video sooner because I really do believe that the more we talk about this stuff and the more open we are about it, the more we can kind of remove that stigma, um, then people who are really like struggling, I mean, I have never felt like suicidal, but obviously, you know, as the stats show, like it's a huge problem. But if people feel a little bit more like they can talk, then there's a chance that people will be able to actually help um, before it gets to that stage, which obviously, it's just the worst case scenario, like it just doesn't bear thinking about. If you're having a tough time, then please do try and talk to someone. Like, even if you think, oh, it's not gonna help, um, you haven't got anything to lose. And if you know someone who you think is potentially having a bit of a tough time, just like try and have a chat to them, even if it feels a bit awkward, um, just do your best. Like, you're gonna want to know that you have tried um, you know, if the worst were to happen, you always have that feeling of like, oh, maybe, you know, I should have tried to speak to them. Just don't put it off. Just kind of don't worry about that awkwardness. Um, yeah, just, just do what you can. And yeah, if you're the person that's struggling and you really feel like you've got nobody at all to talk to, um, try things like the Samaritans. Like, I know that probably seems like a terrible thought, but they are only there to help you. They're never there to judge you. Um, you know, they don't even need to know much about like who you are. Um, just it's someone there to talk to. Like if you can't face that and like you want to chat to me, then I'll put my email address down below. Like clearly, you know, I'm not an expert. I'm not a therapist. I haven't got any of the answers. Um, you know, I'm not for a second saying that I'm the best person for you to speak to, but if you are watching this and you feel like you've got nobody else, then yeah, my email address is there by all means. Like send me an email and I will come back to you. And if you want me to share some of the stuff that has helped me um, through this, then 
just let me know. Obviously, I'm not an expert at all. I'm not saying I've got this perfect recipe for how to cure depression, um, but there has been stuff which, you know, has really helped me. And I think whenever you find something that helps you, you want to share it with people. Um, and yeah, you know, the stuff in my life probably isn't any better now than it was then. Um, but I just feel like I'm sort of gradually getting into a better place to cope with it. Um, so yeah, I'd be more than happy to share some of those things and kind of, yes, a lot of it, like I say, it's not, oh, I was depressed and I found this perfect cure and now I'm all sorted and here's how to do it. Um, yeah, that's never gonna be that simple. Um, most of the stuff I'm still using and kind of still going through. Um, but yeah, I'd be happy to kind of talk about some of that stuff. Anyway, that's it for now. Sorry it's not the most um, fun video. Um, I normally sign off by saying I'll see you in the future and yeah, that feels particularly relevant in this video. So I'll see you in the future.